With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question given here is, during an adiabatic process, the pressure of the gas is found to be proportional to the cube of its absolute temperature and the Poisson's ratio of this gas has to be calculated. So, let's solve the given question here. For solving this question, it is told that it is a adiabatic process. Okay. The process which is occurring here is adiabatic in nature. So, for adiabatic process, we can write that the PV gamma is equal to K. This is the expression where gamma is representing the Poisson's ratio. K is the constant of proportionality here. Okay. And in this question, it is given that there is a relationship between the pressure and temperature. These are related like this. That is, pressure is directly proportional to cube of the temperature. So, we can also put here a proportionality constant like this. That is P t to the power minus 3 would be equal to a constant. Let's put the name it as uh, K1. Okay. So, K1 is the constant of proportionality here according to the question. Now, if we want to replace the term T that is temperature with the new term by using the ideal gas equation. You know what is the ideal gas equation? Ideal gas equation is can be represented like this. That is PV is equal to NRT. Okay. So, we can represent it T here like this. That is PV by NR. Okay. If we are talking about a gas, then the N would be constant. And R is a gas constant as we know. So, let's put the values here. That is P whole. P V divided by N R then bracket close and then minus 3 that is equal to K1. Okay. So here we can see that these are two constant N and R. If we keep that on the right hand side then what will happen? We can change the proportionality constant to a new constant that is let it be K2 here. Okay. And we are left here with the P to the power minus 3 and v to the power minus 3. So, that word on simplifying will give us that is p minus 2 v minus 3 which is equal to k2 here. Okay. Now, we can also write this expression like this that is k2 would be equal to p v 3 by 2. Okay. So, that can be written here. Now, Look at the initial expression which is given in our uh, while we were solving it that uh, for an adiabatic process what we had seen the PV gamma is equal to K. Okay. So, if we want to relate it with this expression then can we see that the all the constants are equal here and we can put PV gamma is equal to PV 3 by 2. Okay. So, we can say that gamma that is Poisson's ratio will have the value of 3 by 2 from here. Okay. So, we got the value of Poisson's ratio that comes out to be 3 by 2 here. Let's see that option A is the correct answer here as it is giving us the same value as we have just calculated. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.